One of the few remaining places we got rust is the bottom of these front fenders. Let's get these cut out and our new ones welded in. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Block Garage. I'm Brian. We're back with a 280Z today like we do every week. One of the few remaining places we got rust is the bottom of our front fenders. You can see this one's quite rotted. So we got to get this cut out and replaced. I got the panels from Classic Fab. I hadn't ordered these with my original order because I wasn't sure what I was doing with the fenders. I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to replace them with fiberglass or something like that. I've decided for now I'm going with the OEM fenders, so we got to fix them. And Classic Fab got these panels to me very quick. I ordered them, I think, on Monday and got them on Thursday. And that's going all the way from Columbia all the way up here to Maine. So, I mean, three days shipping on stuff that's going to go that far. Very happy with that. And I didn't realize when I ordered them that they actually came with the structure that goes in the back. There's, you know, obviously this is the actual lower part of the fender, but this is a structure that goes in behind there at the back edge near the door. So happy, I thought I was gonna have to make that stuff. So definitely glad that it came with that. That's gonna save us some time. So it should be a pretty simple process replacing these. Uh, just because we shouldn't have to do any custom fabrication. I think I'm going to start with the passenger side fender. It's in a little bit better shape. It's not as rusty as this side. Uh, that way it'll probably be a little bit easier. And then we'll jump on this one after once we've got the experience from the other side. So let's jump over there and get that fender off and get a look at it. not too terrible right we definitely got some rust here we got a little bubbling here not sure if that's anything to worry about you know a little bit around back here uh, it's obviously pretty mangled down here if you remember from a handful of videos ago when I replaced the rocker down here did all this up here this was crushed in and I think that's what happened here too from somebody jacking up right there and it I had to bend that back out but we really don't have too much rod here. The other side is definitely way worse. <laughs> Rocco's going crazy over here with a bolt. Rocco, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, so, yeah, this side's not terrible, but let's take a look at the back side. This side, you can definitely see more of the rust just because it hasn't been repainted like the outside. Uh, but still, it's not terrible. W looks like, you know, just looking at it right now, we only got a cut maybe from here down. I got it all cleaned up with my cleanup disc here. And it's about like we thought. So this section here is definitely rusty enough that it's rotted through there. Everything else up here looks perfect. And we got that one spot right back there. Feels like on the back side, that structure on the back has a little place where it actually, it gets closer right there. So I'm thinking it may be trapped a little bit of water. Maybe not, but so really this side is not too bad. This section here would be super easy to, to cut out and weld just a little panel back in there. And then I could cut out the bottom corner here out of my new panel. And I probably would be good. I'm just debating on whether I want to replace this bottom section all the way to the front and obviously we've got to do a little bit with the structure on the back here too this back here is no good yeah yeah this actually quite a bit of rust back there so probably be a good idea to cut this panel off the back if we're going to cut this structure off the back one thing we got to do is roll this lip up what they did from the factory is rolled the lip of the fender over this piece here to keep it nice and tight so we gotta just bend this lip that way so we can get this out So by the looks of it, it's not pinch welded or anything all the way up along here, I, I would say. Uh, but it is down here at the bottom. So we got to cut a couple of... I'm not even going to bother drilling those out because we're going to be replacing this whole bottom section anyway. So I'm just going to trim it right here. So 
So this kind of confirms what we saw before on the front side. We got rust on the back side to about here and up to the body line here. Uh, debating if I want to go just a little bit more up here with this structure just because we do got some rust here. And then we'll probably just replace this lower triangle right here basically. That way we can remove as least material as possible which speeds up the work and makes it easier to keep everything in shape uh, that way it fits all back together but speaking of that before i get cutting that out we need to make sure when we weld this in that we don't get this in or out or sideways or anything like that so that all our body lines line up and to do that we need to put the doors back on i haven't had the doors on in quite a while uh, obviously we got that bracing that i put on to make sure the car didn't warp or anything like that why we had all the floors cut out and all that stuff so i'm gonna take those off i'm gonna go grab a door we'll throw it on the car and that way we can use it to keep everything lined up All right, I've been messing around with this for quite a while, getting my door back on exactly where it needs to be and the fender and everything lined up and our door gaps and everything all as good as we can get so that once we cut this off down here, we know we can get it back in the right place. So now I'm gonna pop the fender off and we'll get cutting that bottom part off where all the rust is. Well, I've been messing around with getting this to fit right for quite a while now. I've been struggling a bit, haven't been 100% happy with it, uh, and I just figured out why. So let me catch you up. We got it fitting good here. It's nice and lined up on the edge. This is on here because I needed to have something to hold to get this to pull back where it needed to be. It wanted to push forward like this. So I just tacked this on there as a handle so I could pull it back while I tacked it to the fender. Uh, work. Worked well, we'll just cut it off after. Um, so this I'm happy with here now. I got my body line all lined up. Um, I've gotten everything down here exactly where I want it to be. You know where uh, we don't have any of that structure in behind right now, so I don't have anything to bolt to right here. So we just got a vice grip, and this needs to. I need to sharpen this bend just a little bit because you can see it's pushed out. We push this in, and it fixes everything up there. Right now this is sunk in a little bit. Pull the door, uh, and by the way. That structure in behind here, uh, you can't see it there, but that structure that's in behind, very important to keep as much on there as you can, because if you don't, this fender gets too flimsy. If I, like, it's not tacked in at all. It's just crimped in between that fold on the edge of the fender right here, uh, at least for the length of it. At the bottom and the top, it's tacked in, but I can move that inner structure out of that where it's crimped on right here on that fold. And this thing gets really, really floppy and it sinks way down in there. So make sure that stays in there. It'll keep the shape of your fender. But anyways, um, so if we push this in, you know, if I, if I tighten this bend up right here, which I'll do when I take the fender bag off, put that, push that in where it's supposed to be. Everything lines up great. The only thing I was still running into is down here. If you can tell my body line on my patch panel right along here, it's right there, which comes to, I don't know, was that? 3 16ths of an inch above that same fold on the original fender and I could not get it lined up. You know, I got this all ground down so that we're fitting tight. We got a nice gap there and I'm trying to push this up. I push this up to get that lined up. It pushes the fender out right there, which obviously that's not going to work. And I finally just figured out what I was doing wrong. So we got a body line that runs right here all the way down the door, down the fender. If I throw my four foot level on there as a straight edge, go right across here, it drops down right here. 
And that is because this fender is pushed in just natural, just sitting there, it's pushed in a little bit. If you take this, if you take this and pop this up like it should by kind of curling this up and this in, kind of twisting it a little bit like that, it lines up perfect. Our body line lines up perfect down there. The only problem is now I got too big of a gap. But that's not a big deal. Uh, we can fix that. So it's it's just very important to take your time. Like I said, I've spent a lot of time just messing around with this here, getting it lined up perfect. Maybe I would have been better just cutting the whole bottom off, but this is what we did, and this is what I'm going to continue on. I'm going to get something to hold this out where it needs to be like this. Maybe just clamp on a piece of sheet metal right here, you know, when it's out like this like it's supposed to. Uh, maybe even tack it in place that way it can't move and we keep that exactly where it needs to be then we can just do a couple tacks all the way down and put it on the bench fix this bend bend that we need here and weld it all in place so let's get doing that all right let me catch you up because it has been quite a while since i recorded that last little bit wherever i was at at that point to be honest i don't even remember at this point I could not get this to fit at all. I thought I was close, I wasn't. Uh, I had this, trying to get this tweaked so it would fit right over here, push this way out. If you look down the side of the body, you know, from the back, it's easier to see, but this was coming down, it would, this was out half inch, three quarters of an inch. Obviously was not right. Um, and I think part of my problem was, I th well, actually I think I, most of my problem was that I didn't have this new piece fitting as good as I did and I was trying to make this fit to this was not going to happen uh other issues down here see I had to cut off the bottom uh I this piece here I don't know if I made this a little bit too low when I fixed that inner part there you know handful of videos ago because of that not fitting right I couldn't get this it was pushing this down which would mess up my line here you know, this wouldn't be lined up right here. It would try to go this way. If I push this here, it would push everything out. It would. It was not fitting at all. So I spent a lot of time last night and now this morning getting to where I am right now. Um, you can see I, I took measurements from the other side because the other side I haven't touched the fender yet on. It still fits well. So I've measured out. So I've got this exactly where it needs to be. Put a couple of rods in there to hold it in place so that I know that that can't move. And then I got this all trimmed exactly where I want it. It fits nice, my line is nice here. My body line is good enough across here that I can you know, get it perfect with body fill later. So now we just need to basically tag it in place. There's gonna be a little more tweaking. I'm obviously gonna have to finish down here, uh, weld that piece that I cut off back in, you know, this piece here. Uh, we'll just have to tack this back in place something like that and you can even you guys might not be able to tell but because it is hard to see with you know just this ground down sheet metal bare steel my body line is right about here where it folds in and I cut this piece right on that same fold and it's way up here we're a good quarter of an inch above so I think that this panel was a little bit off which is fine you know I'm not expecting 100% perfection from these repair panels but this will let me get that down where it needs to be you know I'll weld it down there right about there and we'll just have to fill that gap in uh, and I think we'll be good I'm just gonna do a little bit more double checking to make sure I am 100% happy with how this is fitting and then I'll catch back up with you guys and we'll get it welded in. Oh, by the way, I think also part of my mistake was trying to just cut this here and replace as little as possible. Theory, same thing I did on the back, you know, probably the same mistake. I shouldn't have done it this way. My theory was if I keep as much of the OEM sheet metal on here, it'll help keep everything the right shape, lined up and everything. Uh, I think I probably would have been better off just zipping this off right around here all the way across. Uh, I think it would have been easier and it's probably what we're gonna do with the other side. Here's where we're at with it. You can see the mess that I had to make down here to get this to fit right. 
Now our body line should be lined up, but see, we got this big gap here, and that's how far off that body line was before. So, I mean, this is at the bottom of the car, so I'm probably overthinking this, but I don't want to just say, eh, it's close enough. I want to do my best that I can to get this fitting as good as possible. So, you know, we're all nice and lined up everywhere. Uh, we still have to put that structure on the back, right? That panel that goes in the back to give this some support and seal off from the air coming in through the door. So I think I think I wanna fully weld this first. So I think my best bet would be get this fully welded. That way it doesn't move while we're messing around with it on the bench, putting that panel on the back. So let's go do that. Let's get that fully welded and probably, uh, now let's get that fully welded and we'll go from there. Well, I ran out of welding wire. That's why the last video was something totally different, stripping those doors out, because I am, I don't know, halfway through welding this piece in right here, ran out of wire. So that was on Saturday. I had no way of picking up wire during the weekend. Got some today, so let's throw it in the welder and get right back to welding. I didn't weld right here on purpose. You can see it didn't quite line up my body line right here. So what I'm gonna do is grab my hammer and dolly and attempt to tap this down to line up with this. See if that works. There, it sat down there pretty good. Actually, it was quite easy to tap that down into place. Here we go, get everything all welded in. It's fitting pretty nice, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's not amazing we had to mess around with this down here. We'll see how that turns out once we get it ground down. So one thing I think I learned is, on, when I do the next side is I will get the fender held in place like this before we cut it. And that way I don't have to try and get it back in shape after. You know, it'll, it'll be exactly where it needs to be when I cut the, whatever rust off. That way um, I know that that is straight and I'm making my new piece to that. But let's get this off because we got to get it over on the bench so we can look at the back of the welds and make sure we don't need to do anything back there if we need to fill any of the any cracks in if it didn't penetrate fully. And we need to do that before we get that piece on the back, you know, that support that goes in the back done. It actually looks pretty good. Got nice penetration all the way down through. The only thing I gotta do anything with is this down here and I knew I was going to have to because I went real light with those welds because they were sitting right here and I didn't wanna accidentally weld through and it weld to this, obviously. That would have made a mess. So let me go clean this stuff up. I'll grind these ones down. Fill these ones in and grind these ones down, and then we can work on this. Quick question for you guys, looking for some input. It's not too, too long before I'm gonna need to start stripping all the paint that's left on the car. How should I do it? Right now, I'm thinking chemically strip it. I've never done that before. 
I think that would be the easiest, maybe, and the least messy. Obviously, I have to put something on the floor to catch everything. Um, the other option is getting one of those drum sanders and sanding everything off. That just creates a dusty mess in here. I gotta wear my respirator and everything, which I probably need to wear it with the chemicals to strip the paint too. So I guess that's not of concern. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Never done this before, so or at least not to this scale. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, how should I strip all the paint off the car when I get to that point? Well, let me catch you up to where we're at. I've got this all ground down. This side's looking pretty decent. I had to do some shaping with my hammer and dolly to get it back exactly where I wanted. Uh, apparently I had my panels not quite lined up, as you can see here. See, I, I couldn't quite grind that down. I'm not sure what happened, but I didn't quite get them lined up when I was tacking everything in place. It'll be fine now though. Um, so I've got it fitting good. And now I've stuck that structure on the back. If you look in here, you can see the green in there, the new back structure back there, and it's not fitting amazingly. So I've got to do some tweaking with it. You can see there's gaps at the bottom. There shouldn't be. I cut a little bit too much off at the top, which is not a big deal. We'll get that filled back in with the filler piece after. Uh, needs a little bit of tweaking at the top too on the back side. This is what it's fitting like over here. You can see this should be touching right along here. Uh, so I got some tweaking to do there, and right here needs to go out. So we'll, we'll get that, we'll get working on that. But I've got it fitting pretty nice as far as down here goes, where it's gotta be real tight with the fender. Now this is how it's gonna fit on there, just like that. And it's gonna be, they got it big enough over here that it basically lines up with the edge of the fender. And we've got that rolled here, so if we were to stick this on top here, it's way too thick. And it even I believe would be too thick if I tried to unfold this fold here and jam it underneath like this one is just because this metal thickness is so much thicker than the OEM metal so my plan is I think this is the best idea is to trim this off right here trim this edge off and not put it underneath the fold just have it butt up against right here basically and we'll probably end up tacking it in a couple spots that way it stays there i believe that's the best idea i don't think it'd be a good idea to try to shove that underneath it i don't think it would work so we'll do that get that trimmed down and we'll start tweaking it getting it to fit to the car and to the fender as good as we can i've been messing with that for quite a bit and i've got it fitting pretty good i'm pretty happy with it right now i think enough that we can start tacking it to the fender so I don't know if you guys can see in there, it is definitely not perfect. However, this, at least the back edge, the edge towards the back of the fender, I've gotten fitting to where I'm ready to tack it in from the body line down. I need to get that green paint off since we can't weld through it and put some weld through primer on. And we're gonna tack it in place on the car. I'm probably gonna drill a couple holes in here and that way I can tack it in place with it on the car exactly where it needs to go. That way we know, because I'm worried about this getting out of shape here, because, you know, the normal panels that I've been doing, they don't unbolt from the car. I can just get them in place, tack them, and they're never gonna move again. Fenders are removable, and if I don't get it right, when I go to bolt it down, it's not gonna fit right. So I'm trying to be careful, taking my time, and we're gonna tack it in place on the car, and I hope that will work, but we'll see. So this is where we ended up. I got it pulled back off. We got a couple tacks in here. You can see where I welded it together, uh, and it's it stayed. It's staying in place, which is good. Now that I've got it out, I can see I didn't need to trim this edge off, at least not much. This is clearly tweaked and the way it wanted to fit in there isn't perfect this is the best i could do it seals up obviously along this edge and this edge at least but this edge here we need a little bit more tweaking this way to get it perfectly tight uh, but you can see we're we're off here um it's close enough that especially where you'll never see it it's close enough that we can work with it and we're going to go with it um what i will do is i will put some more tacks in along here to make sure it doesn't move, I'll put some down here too. And um, we'll go and test it out again, make sure it still fits, and then we'll pull it off and we'll fix all of this. We'll get this nice and tight over here, uh, fitting on the car, 
and we'll fill this all in, make it all look good, at least as good as we can. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with how it's turned out. Pretty, got pretty frustrated there for a little bit, but I am happy enough with how it's going to turn out that we're gonna keep going. So like I said, let's get this tacked in place along here and a couple spots down here and we'll go test fit it on the car again. Well, I finally got this where I'm happy with it. Took quite a bit more fitting. I mean, this thing honestly is really kicking my ass. Uh, I think a lot of it is because I can't just hold it in place and weld it there. This is a removable fender. It takes a lot more precision to make sure it's gonna bolt back on right when we're done. But I'm happy with it, it's fitting well. You can see I filled this in up here with just a little piece of scrap metal. Um, so now we just have to weld it on. And I don't think I'm gonna do anything over here, at least right now. You know, normally this panel like this one goes all over the edge and underneath the fold here i don't think i'm going to worry about extending this back over because i you know where i cut off too much and it's a little bit cocked this way a little crooked um so that's why we got that gap here i don't think i'm going to do anything with that because this stuff is nice and strong Here we go, check it out. I got it all ground down. It's looking decent, if not perfect, but I think it'll do. Let's go try it on the car and make sure it still fits. It is still fitting perfect. Even after all that welding and grinding, didn't get warped. And if you look inside the fender here, it's still fitting nice right along the edge here. You know where it meets up with the car, so very, very happy with that. I struggled quite a bit with this one. Uh, I got a ton of hours into really this whole section. This gave me trouble here on the outside, and then I really struggled with that on the inside too. But we got it. And I think this experience is definitely going to help me with the other side. I've got some changes I'm going to make, and I'm not going to do it exactly the same on the other side. At least I'm not planning to at this point. It could all change once we actually get started working on the other one, but you never know. So, I'm not going to do the other side in this video. There's already a lot of footage and everything with this one. I'm sure it's going to be plenty long of a video. Next video, I'm going to go jump right on that other fender though. So come back for that video to see how much I've learned and how much I improve on the other side. But I really appreciate everybody that's been watching the videos and commenting and all that stuff. It really helps keep me motivated. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this and definitely everything that I did wrong because I definitely don't think I did everything right here. Um, if you got any tips or anything like that, definitely let me know. But this this should be sufficient, if not perfect. So, But I do got some more touch-ups to do. I'm going to touch up the welds on the back side, grind them down a little bit smoother. And I still got to clean this up down here. I just realized I had forgotten to get that. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Very glad that I'm done with it uh, because it was not a fun one. I got very frustrated at a couple spots. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know what you think of this one. And come back for the next video so we can see how we do on the other side.